Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. It is summertime and it is really heating up here in California. So I thought, let's make a chilled geeky treat today. So today we are going to be making some homemade Game Boy ice cream sandwiches. Let's get started. If you would like to make these super easy mode, you can just buy the pre-made ice cream rectangle sandwiches that you find at the grocery store. But I'm going to be making mine from scratch so that I can make them a little bit bigger to look like the actual Game Boy size. But if you're in a hurry and you want to make some cold treats for summertime, you can just buy the pre-made ice cream sandwiches. So the things you will need to make these from scratch will be two and two thirds cups of flour, one cup of sugar, two eggs, two and a half sticks of unsalted butter, three quarters cup of cocoa powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. You'll also need a cookie sheet and a piece of fitted parchment paper, and I've got a little lollipop stick. For the middle of the sandwich, you'll need some ice cream. Here I've got classic vanilla ice cream, but you can use whatever ice cream flavor is your favorite. Then to decorate, we're gonna need green and black candy melts and some M&Ms. You will also need a big mixing bowl and a small mixing bowl. Sifter, whisk, a flipper flapper, this is called a spatula, and an electric mixer. Now let's put it on together. The first thing that we're going to be doing is scooping our ice cream into a cookie sheet. But we're first going to line our cookie sheet with a piece of wax paper. Ooh. If you don't have a cookie sheet, you can just use a glass pan, anything that you'd like. I like the cookie sheet because it's about an inch tall, and that is how tall exactly I want my little ice cream sandwich filling to be. And now we're gonna scoop, scoop, scoop. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Oh my God, he's frozen on there. Now that we've got all of our ice cream in the pan, you're gonna take a spoon and smooth it over. Now you're gonna pop this in the freezer to refreeze for about an hour or two, and while it's refreezing, we are gonna make our cookies. The first thing that we're gonna do to make these cookies is in a small bowl, we are gonna sift our flour and cocoa powder. Now we're gonna whisk them together and set this off to the side. Next, in a medium bowl, we are gonna cream together our butter, sugar, and salt. I like to add my butter first, and then mix it together until it's smooth, and then you're gonna mix in your sugar and salt until it's evenly combined. Now that we got those all mixed up, we are gonna add two egg yolks, remember just the yellow part, into our mixture. And then you're gonna add your vanilla extract, ooh, and then mix it up one more time until everything is evenly combined. Now we have our butter mixture and our dry mixture, and we are going to combine them. I'm gonna add the dry mixture to the butter mixture in thirds and mix them up in between until they are evenly combined. Got our cookie dough all mixed up and I just put it on top of my counter and I lightly covered the surface with flour so that the cookie dough doesn't stick and if it's a little bit crumbly that's okay. This is a drier recipe. I love this drier cookie recipe because it complements the ice cream so well. It's really good. So don't worry about the little crumbles just squish it together. Now I'm just gonna pack it down with my hands to be somewhat flat and then grab a rolling pin and smooth it out. Just rolled out our dough and now we're gonna cut out our little rectangle cookies. Cut as many as you'd like. Just remember you'll need two cookies to complete your ice cream sandwich. Remove the excess dough around the cookies and then scoop them onto your baking sheet. Got all of our cookies on the sheet, and now for that classic ice cream sandwich look, we're gonna poke little holes on the top. I like to start with three holes, and then two, and then three, and then two, and then three, and then two, and then three. While the cookies are baking, we are gonna make some decorations. We are going to make the screen a little Game Boy and some buttons. Meep. While the cookies are baking, we are gonna make some decorations. I printed out these two templates and I'll put a link down below if you'd like to use these or you can make your own, whatever you'd like. Take a little tape, 
tape them down to the surface. Then you're gonna take this piece of wax paper and place it on top. Now we are going to trace and fill in our little designs with our melted candy. In this plastic bag, I melted the black candy melts and I put a number two tip at the top for a little bit more control and then I'm gonna use it to trace and fill in these little D-pads. Now we got our D-pads done and now we're gonna use the green candy melts to make our screens. Once your cookies have finished baking and they've had plenty of time to cool. Now we are going to decorate my favorite part. So over here I just took a few of the cookies. These are going to be the tops of the ice cream sandwiches and we are going to attach our little screens and D-pads and then our mini M&Ms. We're going to be using two little red M&Ms for the buttons. To attach the little details I'm going to be using some of the extra dark candy melts in this little plastic baggie as adhesive. So you're just going to Take one of these little guys, whoop, and on the back, put a little dab of your candy melt, and then place it on top of your ice cream sandwich. And we're gonna attach a little D-pad, and we've got our mini M&Ms for the little buttons. Then you're gonna do this to the rest of your cookies. Our cookies are assembled and now I just took out the tray of frozen ice cream and now you're gonna take your rectangle cookie cutter and we're gonna cut out the middle of our ice cream sandwiches and this doesn't have a really soft grippy top so I'm gonna be using my mitt so it doesn't hurt your hands and you gotta put some pressure on the top. This is called the jumping technique. Then you pull it out, perfect, just like that. Then you're gonna place it onto a little cutting board over here. You're gonna cut out as many as you can in the ice cream tray and then pop these back in the freezer so that they'll hold their shape and we will assemble our cookies. Ta-da! Here are the Game Boy homemade ice cream sandwiches that we made today. I hope you guys enjoyed them, I love them. They're just like little retro geeky summer treats to keep you cool. I'll be posting lots of pictures on Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you guys make these or any other geeky ice cream sandwiches, please take a photo and send it to me. I just love seeing your baking creations. I just get a big kick out of it. It makes my day. And if you have any other ideas for any other nuts and nummies, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. All right, thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye.